a flora sage here and I want to riff a little bit this morning about mindset. I'm a little bit washed out. Hang on. I apologize. Okay, so wow, I'm like super washed out. <laughs> so before I start my videos, I always make sure, okay, there we go. So, um, mindset. Uh, yesterday we talked a little bit about how to get out of our head and do a brain dump and really give ourselves permission to just let it all hang out and then figure out, okay, now that I've written everything out, how can I move forward? What's one thing that I can do that will help move me in the direction that I want to go? Now, mindset is a big thing because what you think about comes about, okay? What you internalize is what actually comes out into your realm. So when you are noticing that you're in a piss poor mood or you're pissy or you're like, ah, <laughs> you know, you can regroup, you can stop and say, okay, wait a minute. Do I really want to spend the rest of my day feeling like this or thinking like this? Most of us would say no. Now I got to tell you, it's a lot easier to be negative than it is to be positive because we live in a fear-based, ego-based society that plays off of our fears. If you've ever watched the news, it's like 99% bad news and the rest of it is good news. Now the reason being is because that's for ratings. When it's bad news, that charges us with adrenaline and cortisol, which is um, those, those fear-based energies that all of a sudden gets us into this fear-based thing of like, oh my gosh, I have to watch because our ego is thinking, oh my God, you're not safe watch this and then maybe you'll be safe. You know, maybe you'll find out information that will help you stay safe. And so when you watch good news, it's not full of adrenaline, it's not full of those charged emotions, it's filled with the, oh, that's so happy, that's so exciting, oh, and we don't get so charged up with it. That's why bad news is the news that most people will report or the news that just pisses us off we're like oh hell no and then we just go off and so when you watch the news that work that just wreaks havoc on your mindset i haven't watched the news in years i'm very particular about where i find out my information from but mindset is key when it comes to everything so pay attention to what you consume pay attention to what you take in because what you take in is eventually what's going to come out, okay? So regardless of what your upbringing was, regardless of what your current situation is or might be, you can choose to shift it. You can choose to just decide, you know what? I don't want to be bitchy today or I don't want to be pissy or I don't want to let this situation ruin my day. So how can you shift your mindset? How can you shift out of where you were to where you want to be. Well, first and foremost, figure out where you want to be. Do you want to be happy? What does that look like? What does that feel like? Do you want to feel a specific way? For me, I love feeling focused. And so what do I do? I make a list. I learned this from my dad. Growing up, every single day, the dude would make a list. He'd be like, okay, you know, sometimes, usually he would make it the night before and have it on the counter. And so, um, especially on his days off, he would, you know, have this big list and he would say, okay, I'm going to get this done. As soon as he got it done, then he'd chill. He'd grab a beer and just relax with us. And so, um, I learned early on that I want to stay focused. I like staying focused. When I'm not focused, I feel scattered and I just, I feel, I just don't like it just because I don't feel productive. And so I'm very mindful, however, about what I put on my list. I make sure that I put productive tasks instead of busy work. Busy work is the stuff that you're really just spinning your wheels. So the key in, in all of this is to ask yourself, how do I want to feel today, okay? So notice how you feel and then ask yourself, how do I want to feel? And then say, okay, so how can I get there? How can I go from here to here? Yesterday, I was very focused. I was trying to stay focused, but I had a big project that I needed to do. Um, I wanted and needed to do it. It needed to be done by the end of the day. And I was feeling a little bit drained. I was feeling a little bit tired. And I asked myself, okay, so what's one thing that I can do that will help make me feel better? And I'm like, dance. And so I grabbed my phone and I put on some music and I even like Instagrammed some of it. 
But I had a little dance party and I played some of my favorite songs and I got up from my desk and was just chilling and I didn't sit back down to work on my project until I felt good, until I had a shift in my mindset. So my mindset before was I need to get this project done, I'm tired, I want to take a nap, blah, 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 blah. And then I was like, okay, no, I don't want to go there. I don't want to be in this energy state. And I knew all I had to do was shift my mindset. And so then I asked myself, okay, so this is how I feel. How do I want to feel? I want to feel energized. I want to feel in flow. I want to feel good. I want to feel excited because the project that I'm working on is really freaking exciting. So what I did was, again, I got up and I'm like, okay, what's one thing I can do that will make me feel better? So that's what I want you to do today. Check in with yourself and say, how do I feel now and how do I want to feel and then bridge the gap. And you can you know, do that by simply saying, okay, what's one thing that I can do that will help move me from how I feel to how I want to feel? And then you have to take action. That's the thing is so many people don't take action. But all y'all are amazing people. My people who watch, which is you all, get shit done. You make things happen and you are not afraid to take action. So today, be willing to take action. Be willing to say, okay, this is where I'm at. This is where I want to be. What's one thing I can do that will help me move into action, that will help me go to that space that I want to go in? Okay? And usually it's a lot faster and quicker than we think it will be. I promise you. This is really epic. <laughs> okay? So let's see who we have here. Lauren, Auntie Sharon. I love you. Steve, Carol, good morning. Jewy, good morning. Cindy, Nicole, Karen, yay. Lori says, thank you for helping me shift my mindset this morning. You are very, very welcome. All right, people, that's it for today. This is super simple. Now, if you want help making decisions, okay, because I know sometimes we got like, well, there's actually a thing, it's called decision fatigue, okay? Um, and when you have decision fatigue, what it is is basically you've just been making way too many decisions and your brain is like, I'm done, I'm out, I'm tapping out, ding, 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 I'm out, <laughs> I'm done. So what happens when we get decision fatigue, our choices get less wise, I'll just say. And I have a free gift for you called Four Steps to Make Better Decisions. So if you find that when you make decisions, they end up being the wrong decision or they end up being the decision that you're just like, eh, I probably could have made a better decision. Or you just feel so overwhelmed because you have so many decisions to make. This free gift is perfect for you. So I'm going to put the link below. I want you to click it and I want you to download it. I want you to read through it and then do the exercise. There's a little four step exercise at the end of the PDF but I want you to read through the whole thing first because I explain why we're going through the exercise at the end. This is huge. A lot, most people don't even think about why they have decision fatigue or why they have such a hard time or challenging time making decisions. And I explain why in this free gift, which is mind blowing. And so many people are like, holy shit, Flora, I can't believe I can't believe I missed this. I can't believe this was so simple and so effective. So if you want help making better decisions, okay, click the link, download it and read it and then do the exercise at the end of the PDF and I can guarantee you it will help you with today's challenge. But today's challenge is going to be fun, which is basically say, how do I feel? How do I want to feel? What's one thing that I can do that will move me in the direction and help move me and get me to where I want to feel? It could be having a dance party. It could be unplugging from social media. It could be, you know, unliking certain pages because of all the crap that they put in your newsfeed. Just saying, be open to guidance and be open to that next step. All right? Perfect. Okay, I have a super secret something something that I've been working on. If you are following me on Instagram, you already know what it is. I'm super pumped. Oh, if you're on Instagram, you can click the link in my bio on Instagram and you can already see the program page of what I've been working on. If you're a business owner, you are going to want in. It's epic. But regardless, everybody click the link below, download your free gift, 
four steps to make better decisions today. I love you all. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye.